Hi guys, welcome to my channel here. This is Fred here and welcome to today's topic. Uh, I'm glad you decided to watch my videos. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel so that we can uh, grow this industry to greater heights. So, welcome to today's topic where we'll be talking about the secret to be a successful dairy farmer and profitable dairy farmer. So, we have uh, been covering topics, uh, different topics, but today I would like to offer some tips and encourage dairy farmers and upcoming dairy farmers on the things that we need to do to make these a profitable dairy farmers. So one is I'm going to give into points. So for those who are lighting, uh, you can take note. So the first thing that we, you need to is to invest in more knowledge and information. So information is key in everything that we do. Information is everything. Don't be right to, yeah? So information is key to all that we do. If you have the, if you equip yourself with the right information, the better. So research about cows. Talk to other dairy farmers to know what they are doing. Uh, go to shows, yeah. Like now we have different uh, national ACK shows here in Kenya. You can go to shows. You can go to other training, yeah, so that you can equip yourself with more knowledge. And once you equip your no, yourself with much knowledge. Uh, transfer that knowledge to your workers, yeah? Like now, if you are going to a, a, a training, yeah, or a daily visit, just take one of your uh, farm workers, go with him or her, and you will learn as you share knowledge, the better. Remember, this is an investment, and as an investment, you have invested so much of your time, so much of your capital into that. Let's say you have a 250,000 daily cow, that is in Kenya shillings, you have to uh, employ the best, yeah? You have to employ the best. And to employ the best, you have to provide that person with all adequate, all the necessary things that he or she needs, yeah? So once you do that, you will uh, you will make your, your data farm to be profit. You, one, you will protect your investment, and the person who is taking care of your investment, that is data cows, will take great care of your cows without uh, disturbances yeah yeah so the second thing is uh, you have to invest in capital so many people are right to you that you can start a daily without capital or without another source of income you can't sustain a cow that is a guarantee don't be right to that you can have a hundred cows and then if you don't have capital you need you need capital you need capital guys and if you have a, you're a daily farmer and uh uh, so many people are investing or they are uh, searching for those people who will be helping them, like banks, yeah? You can go and take a role, which will be serviced by the, the production of your cow, whether it's the uh, fodder you'll be selling or the milk that you'll be selling or the cows itself that you'll be carrying, they will service the road. So you need capital. That's a guarantee. If you don't have capital, please don't trust because you will get tired uh, on the way and you, you will leave data farming. So you have to be very, very keen on that. So you have to, another, the, the, that point is to have to keep good records for a successful, profitable data farming. You have to have proper records. And this is not a, by the way, that is a must, you have a proper record so that you can know this cow need to be inseminated on this, came on heat on this day, needs to be inseminated on this day. You need to know to have inventory records. What are you buying? Are you going losses? Are you making profit? Yeah. Where would you like to 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 what would you do to increase the profit? Yeah. What would you do to minimize the the losses? So you have to have records. You have to have records. And I created a video on records. You should watch that. I will put it on the description below. And uh, records is a must. So that's a must, that's a guarantee and you have to, to do it whether you like it or not. Then you have to have flexible business plan. So many people start a dairy farming just anyhow, anyhow, and that's, you should have a business plan. Yeah, detailing what to do, where to get capital, where to, you have to have a business plan. You have to have a business plan as a dairy farm, yeah? 
because there is no way of uh, starting a project remember as a dairy farmer we are cash poor but we are asset rich what do i mean by that right now if you are a dairy farmer someone asks you for 10k you wouldn't have it direct yeah but you have uh, assets in some of cows the equipment that you are buying the fodder still act as a, an, an asset yeah you have so many assets as a dairy farmer so this is not a, a get rich quick schemes as people think yeah so if you ask many farmers they will tell you i have been rearing cows for the last 10 years so for that duration of 10 years that farmer he or she has been building has assets yeah year by year by year but you if you are starting right now you don't you, you don't have have 10 million assets no 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 you don't have to so build equity over time yeah you buy assets you uh, you buy equipment over time you can't start with a tractor yeah you start with a wheelbarrow by using that wheelbarrow it will take you other height you buy a motorbike you go like that you buy a pickup and finally one day you you buy a lorry you buy a tractor all those but it comes with time so uh, as a dairy farmer you have to have patience yeah it takes time to be a, a good dairy farmer it takes time to be an esteemed dairy farmer yeah and i'm saying this out of practice out of experience that i have had yeah so don't come into dairy farming or, or if you are already in a dairy farming don't expect to be rich by the end of the year no it takes time it takes time yeah another thing invest in good breeds yeah invest in high producing cows there's no need of having uh, like four cows each cow is producing 10 liters like that is uh, 40 liters per day and those cows they are consuming so much fodder they are taking a lot of your time they require so much labor so what you can do is find one that is producing like 30 liters or two that are producing 30 liters you'll be having 60 the workload has gone down and the forage consumption level has gone down so don't keep so many cows that are not producing cull them So if you want to be in business your cow must have be producing 20 liter and above if your cow is not producing 20 I'm not discouraging but if you want to be in a real deal profit business let your cow uh be producing 20 liter and above and how can you do that just know when your cow calves down you have to do what you call proper steaming up and after proper steaming up you have to exceed the expect- expectation of that cow you have to you to feed it with quality forage quality concentrate quality mineral salt be, better beddings yeah comfortable structure so that you can know the peak of that cow if your cow is as a peak of 8 liters please you have to call that cow yeah and it it, take, it is better you sell it and you start from scratch with a, a cow that has good genetics and the cow that has the potential of producing more liters yeah because guys so many people so many farmers are discouraged i have done this i have been doing this but maybe it is because of the genetics of the cow because we have some factors that affect the the milk production of the cow we have the lactation stage of the cow we have the genetics of the cow we have the fodder we have the stress level of that cow so many things that will affect but if your cow is not producing if you have so many cows producing less than 10 kg please call them buy one yeah you can sell or if you have five producing 10 10 liters those are 50 liters but sell all of them buy like two that are producing 30 liters but here is a trick how, how are they producing those 30 liters if they are producing that liters in that farm you have to take that the feeding regime from that farm and you bring it to your farm so that they can continue producing 30 liters so it takes time but if you are if you are youth and you are starting dairy farm I'm not discouraging you you can start with those but run as we have said the point number one, you equip yourself with info the, the the quality information and the good information that you need for your cow to produce more yeah so just take those uh, those small small steps and uh, i believe with uh, that uh, you can be a good successful farmer then have a long and short range yeah goals yeah you have to set goals 
by this year i want to be here by this year and and remember goals without actions those are not goals yeah if you have dreams you have to wake up and work for them if you have goals you have to take actions and know the means by which you you will reach your goals yeah if it is you want each each and every year you want a calf how are you going to to make it yeah proper feeding proper proper feeding proper feeding proper quality feeding yeah so that your cow can come on heat you provide mineral salts you provide good uh, beddings clean fresh water yeah the, you minimize the stress of animal heat stress yeah so many things that come into place yeah you have to set goals and uh, meet them you talk to your workers yeah you tell them by this time i want us to be here you don't work as a single person when you come to dairy farm if you have workers let them be part of your goal so that each and every part if even each and every person will play a part for to 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 reach your goal you can't do it on your own you need workers if it is a family business tell for those who are married tell your your, your wife and for those who have children let them know what it entails to be in dairy farming let them uh, let your wife know the goal that you want to reach and by when so that he can keep on motivating you he can keep on pushing you some people need pushing and if you need pushing you need either your family member most of your wife and uh, you need workers they need to push you and tell you boss you are doing this you are doing this we will not reach but we, if we take and never ignore any advice that you are given by anybody most in those the people in dairy they know a lot yeah not everybody even me I don't know a lot but what i do is uh, i take advice even given by somebody i take that advice and i start working on it if it works the better and you realize oh i thought i knew everything you don't know everything no one knows even those who are right skilled dairy farmers they don't know everything so they, they let them not write to you that they know everything about cow. even veterinarians they don't know they don't know everything they don't know everything like now i, I i'm it, it is amazing that some farmers some dairy farmers through the experience they have had as a dairy farmer they have so much knowledge than the vet that went to school yeah because the vet most of them some are uh, theory and you you are doing practical for the last 10 years so you know inside out of a cow you know how to relate with cow and uh, all those so then get organized and get your work done on time so everything you have to get organized when it comes to dairy farming and time is everything time is everything like now when do you milk your cow there must be a pattern of milking yeah cows they have a time crop at this time it's time for feeding if there's not feed there something will change this is the time for milking and they release some hormone they to let the, the for milk to run down at the time at that time so you have to have an order at this time is and not, let nothing come between you and that time that you are in a milking either you are feeding your cows let you be punctual in everything that you do in everything that you do so have a passion yeah for your work and positive attitude toward your future so many people they get discouraged by what uh, uh, we are facing right now yeah you may maybe lack of order maybe the prices hikes yeah don't be discouraged always have positive mindset and have a look at it as a bright future ahead yeah because someone may be watching you someone is encouraged by what you are doing someone is encouraged by how you started someone is wishing to be you but the moment you give up the moment you give up as a dairy farmer you are killing many the hopes of many people who are looking unto you and that you don't know they are looking unto you so have a positive out uh, mindset yeah that our, our future will be brighter the milk prices may be down the food the feeds the the concentrate uh, prices may be up but know for sure that one day one time life will be better we had a covid time back then life was unbearable at that time right now we don't have covid time changes so you have to keep on changing uh, you have to keep on changing also be dynamic the the world is changing at a very high rate
So you used to, you have to change. Adapt the new technology that you are coming. Because they will minimize your work power. Yeah? You don't have to employ so many people. If you have capital, you can start to, uh, incorporating what you call robots. Go digital. Yeah? Have some apps that will be telling you my, that my cow is on heat. This cow is sick. Yeah? At the same time, you can send that SMS to, to, a, to, a, to a veterinary who will come and uh, do the necessary. So be dynamic also. Be dynamic. Don't give up. Yeah? Don't give up the hope. Yeah? Always keep on positive. Well, even if your cow dies, yeah, it, 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 some it might be a shock, but don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm telling you to don't, don't give up. So many more people are wishing to be you. Whether you have one cow, there, there is someone who is wishing, I wish I had that one cow. And treat it in a human way. Yeah? That's why we come, we talk about this cow, cow welfare. You have to treat it in a better way. Don't, uh, like now, you go to some farms and you see some cows have some what you call socks. So for those people who don't know what cow socks is, is where cow dung, has been neglected is on the shed and the cow is passing on the mud so you have to be very very keen on that yeah you have to be very very keen so we talked about building equity over time you buy you start small you keep on buying you keep on buying so like now if you start with one cow after one year you have uh, two cow after the second year you have uh, three cow after the fourth year you have like uh, five, five cows because they keep on you can even buy, you can even, uh, so with time you can uh, add. And when we have like drought and when you don't have fodder, you can sell one cow to cater for fodder for like, let's say, a year for other animals. Yeah? So you don't have to stress yourself. You don't have to, take, to go and take a big roan. Yeah? But if you can take a roan that can be serviced by the production of a cow that is not going to, to stress you over, you can do it. Yeah? You can do it. So you have to... To, to know the means that you can build capital, uh, you can build e equity over time. Then you have to invest wisely. And for our case here, the most uh, crucial thing when you are in a dairy farm is fodder. So the best thing that you can, I'm not going to tell you to go and buy rad. No, that is very expensive. That here you can lease, leasing rad. Like now, uh, here we, we, we lease like uh, an acre goes for, that is uh, uh, 10,000 per year. And that 10,000 per year, you can get it in a week if you are dairy farmer. Yeah? So you can go and use that and you, you plant your own crop there. You plant your own fodder. Like now I have seen someone who uh, uh, leased for five acres. That is 50,000 a year. But that 50,000, uh, he planted uh, boma roots and it did so well. And it produced a lot of hays, yeah? And the hays, uh, he, was, he was selling at uh, 300, yeah? And he sold so, so, so much, yeah? So you have to invest wastery, guys. You have to invest wastery. So if you have a small farm, plant, uh, plant those crops that, uh, that are very expensive. Right now, you can plant corn for silage, but in other lands that you have reached, you can uh, plant like uh, super napier, all boma road, yeah, all, all steel corn, yeah. So it's up to you. You have to invest wastery. Invest in good quality cows. Invest in good workers, yeah. Invest in good equipment. Invest in fodder. Invest in fodder because fodder is everything. Then you have to consider diversification. Uh, diversification, you have to diversify. If it is your farm and you have the experience you, have, you want to share, you can even uh, invite uh, other experts so that your farm can be a demo farm. We'll be teaching other farmers on how to do, on how dairy farming is done. That is one way. We have dairy trainings and you can uh, uh, be charging them. Yeah, like uh, 1,500. Yeah, that is one fifty dollars. Uh, you can be yeah, that is one way. Uh, daily training. You can like the example I've given you. You can be selling boma roots, excess fodder. You can be selling excess fodder. You can be selling excess manure. That's another thing. You can be selling uh, inca paper, which they fetch good money. You can be carrying 
and you can be selling milk so there are so many many things that you can do you can even go to what we call value addition yeah value addition when you are you are making uh, you'll be making uh like yogurt cheese all those and they fetch a good quality of a uh, good amount of money yeah so as a as a dairy farmer you have to diversify and uh, look at the things that you can do uh, so another thing is fertility management so fertility management is a uh, is a very very big topic and uh, we should we, i will cover it uh, one time and you have to ensure that your cow give birth each and every year yeah and how do you do that there are steps that you should consider but we will be making a video on that then you have to to uh, okay we have biosecurity yeah biosecurity is where you protect your animal from uh, you protect uh, your animal from diseases from outside as in you on your gate or where you are entering to your your cow shed uh, put some uh, uh, chemical there so that in once a person comes he must pass through that uh chemicals to so biodiversity uh, bio biosecurity that's what i mean by and then we have vaccination yeah timely vaccination is a very important thing because you'll be pre preventing an outbreak of a disease yeah and i have so i saw a farmer there was uh this vaccination program by the county government but that farmer ignored yeah so many farmers uh, cows were vaccinated but he ignored it uh, no 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 but uh, we had foot and mouth uh i think he had uh, four cows they all died they all died because uh, first of all before they died a vet came and uh, took a lot of money from that farmer due to ignorance yeah so always whenever you hear there is vaccination or an outbreak of a disease always vaccinate your cow always vaccinate your cow so always uh, plan often and uh, plan often so if this is, thing is not working yeah if this cow is not producing milk what am i supposed to do for it to produce where am i going wrong as a dairy farmer where yeah where are you going wrong as a dairy farmer ask yourself those questions yeah and those for those who are who, who want to give up in dairy farming know where the problem is before you give up know where the problem is yeah because most dairy farming is a, life, a lifestyle is not a one thing one one life thing then you leave it no it's a lifestyle it's something we talk about the journey is not a destination guys yeah another thing is you have to invest in a good workforce yeah whenever i say good workforce you have to to find uh good men equip them with the right knowledge treat them as human beings treat them with respect pay them better pay them better once you do that life will be good not only for you but even for the cow because one thing i noted about cows they hate changing people if it has uh, that habit of seeing this person and you bring another person and then you bring another person that cow will be in stress it will be confused who is who yeah and if you are dairy farmer and your cow doesn't know you you have to work on yourself because something is wrong with you something is very insanely wrong with you 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 must uh, you must your cow must know you as the owner not as a worker as the owner yeah like now even if i'm one kilometer away or i'm around even without talking my cow, my cow will know I'm, I'm around i don't know if they sent or what but the, my cow knows it's me so you have to invest in good uh, my, uh, workforce good people yeah treat them like human beings give them all they need yeah and ensure that they have a good working condition yeah and with that your assets in here that is your investment the cows will be better off then and the last thing is general cow management these people this has misread a lot of farmers good practices in a dairy farm you must ensure them ensure that your cow shed is clean ensure you feed them with quality uh quality feed a quality fodder 
at the right quantity fresh green water always and i keep on saying this fresh green water must be there the water that you can drink yeah good good and dry and comfortable bedding and i keep on reiterating guys there must be good and comfortable bedding so most, most cows spend so much uh, time sleeping and whenever it's sleeping they must be dry and very comfortable because the moment the cow is uh, regurgitating what you call that uh, it is it is a time that is uh, producing milk it is making milk yeah so ensure all those general uh, practices yeah that are making uh, ensure you have a good shed yeah good shed yeah ensure that you have mineral soil proper vaccination as i mentioned yeah and uh, in general you you are you are your dairy farm will be better off yeah your general farm will be better off so guys i know uh sometimes people have started general uh, uh, have started dairy farming but it's not working for them but if you watch those small small steps that i'm giving you uh you will be better off you will be better off yeah i know you can make it if you are there and you are, you want to give up in dairy farming please don't give it another uh, another start yeah this time thinking positively seeing just the better part of it and i believe you can go far as a dairy farmer i believe you can do many things as a dairy farmer because we are here for the the passion that we have and in that passion we want to make money out of it and as youth you must come you, i was asking myself this question why is it that when people retire they all want to go to farming and most they want to go to dairy farming ask yourself that question there is there is something we call that lifestyle is so good i tell you guys you exercise whenever you walk here you walk here you exercise you keep your body fit you make you take care of an animal the animal produces something that in, in return give you money yeah don't go looking for white collar jobs i want an office work no one thing i've noted if you have you are dairy farmer you earn uh, let's say there are those people who are getting paid mantra those who take uh, their milk to a circle but if you sell your milk daily you get your money daily or weekly but those people who are employed they get their money at the end of the month so what you they do is for, for them to sustain during those those days of the month they have to take to to borrow from a friend yeah and when they get salary what they do is they just pay they pay their bills they are left with nothing that's why you see someone has re- lived in the city for the last 20 years but have nothing to show but once in your daily you get money daily you get food you are guaranteed of milk there you are guaranteed of making profit that day let's say even if you are starting and you are getting like uh, even a uh, thousand per day yeah let's say that thousand you you have already invested in fodda all those let's say for that thousand you save 300 that is for your own personal use uh like now 300 then 200 for workers and other, uh, other then you have like 300 for, uh, per cow per day you give it you have you have so much money you you be relaxed like will not be stressful but that will be possible if you watch all those steps that I have given you and start acting now don't wait for tomorrow start acting now if you are shed is that day, right now well, after watching this video go and wash that nini that that, that that cow shed yeah keep on spraying your animals wash them treat them with the, the love don't beat your cows yeah once you beat your cow it will start uh, even the milk production will it will fear you yeah and we want some we have some we want some connection between you and your animal yeah and i believe we'll go for as a dairy farmer even as you even if you are old there and you have dairy cows i believe you have experience you know what i'm talking about never let your worker beat an animal never let your worker or anybody treat your animal badly yeah ensure biosecurity vaccination all those steps i know you can make it guys 
I know you can make it. Don't give up on the on, on dairy farming. Let's work on it. And uh, we will be good. We'll be better. So I want to thank you for watching until here. And if you have any question, if you have any query, you can comment, you can ask. Uh, I'll list my email there. That is uh, frederick.info at gmail.com. You can send me an email. We can interact. We can talk. Yeah, I'm free to help anybody with the right information. Even if you are there, you have more information than I have. Please share. Yeah, I'm open to ideas. I'm open to new topics. And I'll be glad to so that we can grow this industry. We can take care of animals. And I believe God will bless us all. Yeah. So thank you. And may you have a wonderful time. And for those who have not subscribed, please, 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 guys. I'm on, on the road to 1K subscribers, and I know with your subscription, I can reach there. With your subscription, you can give, you can motivate me to keep on uploading more videos, and I believe we'll go far as a daily farmer. So thank you for your time, and thank you for watching and passing by my channel, and uh, may you have wonderful time. Thank you.